Okay, good morning, everyone. Welcome to my class. So this is basically, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm recording this uh, just for the purpose of explaining the tutorial that I shared with you two days ago. Uh, so we, uh, we start our class like uh, one hour into the class. We start at 9.15 and we stop at 10 o'clock. So this is, I'm hoping this will be like the replacement for the rest of the class and get the, uh, cancel only the other day. Okay, so if you remember, the other day we uh, we started uh, getting to chapter three, uh, which is gases. Okay, and uh, I haven't uh, I showed you a video about the introductions of gases, what are the behaviors of gases, what affected gases. So basically, what we are studying, what we are uh, discussing in chapter three, uh, what is gas? and what affected the behaviors of gas. So, uh, in summary, the, the, the parameters of gas, we measure gases in, uh, in terms of volume, isipadu, in terms of its uh, temperature, and in terms of its uh, pressure, okay? So, we know, we, uh, we identified these parameters because a long, long time ago, a certain number, group number, uh, number of uh, scientists of chemists they notice that gases are affected by the changes of pressure temperature and also pressure temperature pressure and volume sorry okay temperature pressure and volume so uh, for example uh, Charles uh, he noticed that uh, gases in your volume will increase if the temperature is increased so he did an experiment, which you have seen in the video that I showed you in our last class. If you put a gas, whatever gas in a container, and if you heat the container, the, the container will expand. Why? Because the pressure inside the container is expand. Okay, the heat causes the gas molecules inside the container to move faster because it receives more energy. Heat is a form of energy. So the heat is transferred from the container into the gas. So the gas molecules move faster and the pressure expanded as the molecules move faster. Okay, so they notice this. So certain changes, certain parameters uh, changes when uh, volume is uh, different, pressure is different, and temperature is different. So, uh, in summary, the ideal gas law, the Tiger, Charles law, Boyle's law, and Avogadro's law, also known as uh, Gay-Lussac's law. Okay, but uh, there's one other uh, condition where these gases that they obey these three laws, that they obey Charles law, uh, Gay-Lussac's law, Avogadro's law, dan juga apa nama? Uh, Boyles, uh, Charles Boyles and Gay Lussac and Avogadro. This is a condition where the environment is is an open environment. Then he say about example, a gas in a container, a sealed container, tertutup. So gas from the inside of the container cannot go out, and the gases from outside of the container cannot go in. So that is a closed container. So when gases are within a closed system, a closed container, they are can obey ideal gas law, they can obey Charles law, they can obey Gay-Lussac's law, and they can obey Boyle's law, ataupun Avogadro's law. Tetapi, when the system uh, is open, gases are freely to move in and out of a, of a space, they tak akan obey ideal gas law. Another law, kat sini, uh, yang kita kenali sebagai uh, a formula that we know as PV equals to NRT. So all of these uh, laws that are formula this sendiri. Okay, for example, Boyle's law, the formula is P1 V1 equals to P2 V2. Charles law, T1 over P1 equals to T2 over P2. And Avogadro's law pun ada dia punya formula. Agelosak's law pun ada dia punya formula. Tetapi, to simplify all this, you just need to remember this one uh, formula which is the ideal gas formula, PV equals to NRT. 
If you remember this PV equals to N, R, and T, you can derive all the other formulas. Kamu boleh, uh, apa nama? Kamu boleh uh, kembangkan PV equals to N, R, T itu untuk menghasilkan formula untuk Boyle's Law, Charles Law, Gay-Lussac's Law, dan Avogadro's Law. So this is easier because you don't need to hafal, you don't need to memorize all of these other formulas. You just remember PV equals to N, R, T. There's a video in uh, ITEL, Uh, tajuk dia, don't be lazy, don't memorize the gas laws formula. Just remember PV equals to NRT and then you can derive all of the other formulas. Okay, so that's basically it. Okay, so uh, uh, and then two days ago also I shared a, a tutorial, a quizzes. Uh, I told you, uh, I said that you need to finish it by, by Thursday midnight. And after that, we kita akan discuss. So today, I record this ahead of time so that uh, so dis- uh, I can discuss the tutorial. I, and then I can share the video on YouTube for you guys to watch. Okay, so first question. Uh, gases have... Uh, this is a question about uh, nak identify the punya traits, the properties of gas. So gases have, the correct answer is no definite shape or volume. Gas tidak ada bentuk yang tetap. Dia tidak ada volume, tidak ada isi padu yang tetap. Kalau kamu, kalau saya ambil cawan ni, okay, dan saya tutup, ada gas kat dalam ni. Jadi kalau saya buka, saya masukkan gas tu dalam cawan ni, saya tutup, dia punya volume will be the volume of this cup. Saya masukkan balik gas tu dalam cawan ni, saya tutup, the volume of the gas will be the volume of this cup. Okay, dia punya volume isi padu dia akan mengambil isi padu of any container that it is in. Okay, shape pun sama juga. Dia akan ambil any shape of the container it is in. Kalau ada gas dalam rumah saya sekarang, gas tu bentuk adalah bentuk rumah saya. Okay, question number two. What is the variable for this number? So, 22.4 L liters. Ini adalah parameter apa? Variable apa? Pressure ke, temperature ke, volume ke, number of moles dia bagi option kat sini. P is for pressure, T is for temperature, N is for the number of moles and V is volume. So jawapan yang betul adalah volume because liter is the unit for volume. Question number three, what is the variable for this number? 32 degrees Celsius. So as you have known, degree Celsius is the unit for temperature. So the correct answer is B, capital T. Okay, T is the symbol for temperature. Uh, question number four, what is the variable for this number 9.10 atm? Atm is a unit for pressure. So you will be, uh, there will be confusion for this chapter because there are multiple units for one parameter. For example, for pressure, atm is unit for pressure. Bar is a unit for pressure. Uh, pascal or kilopascal is also a unit for pressure. Tau is also a unit for pressure. Okay, so you need to be uh, familiar with uh, all the units for pressure. All of it are listed dalam lecture notes and also in the videos and also dalam uh, exercises in the lecture videos and saya share dalam ITEL. Okay. Uh, what is the variable for this number? 122, 122K. K is a unit for Kelvin temperature. So the correct answer is B, T. So in uh, in chemistry, uh, kita jarang-jarang guna Celsius for any calculations. Okay, kalau kita, apa nama, uh, if the problem starts with degree Celsius, we need to convert degree Celsius unit into Kelvin because K, we measure everything according to Kelvin because zero degrees Kelvin is the absolute zero temperature everything freezes at zero degree kelvin okay uh penama so that's why kita guna kita guna unit kelvin as a standard for any calculations in chemistry ataupun physics for, for that matter okay one minute Yeah.
Uh, question number six, what is the variable for this number? 1.5 mole, so this is easy. You've, you've seen this unit before. Mole is the unit for molar, so the answer is C. N. N is bilangan mole, the number of moles. Uh, question number seven, PV equals to NRT. So what is this formula called? PV equals to NRT, as I said just now, jawapannya adalah ideal gas law. Uh, which law helps us find the moles of a gas in a sample? So, jawapan yang betul adalah ideal gas law because if you look at the formula, PV equals to NRT. So, kalau kamu nak cari bilangan mole, you have to use this formula because dia saja formula yang ada variable, ada parameter for the number of moles. Charles law tidak ada, Boyle's law tidak ada, combined gas law pun tidak ada. Uh, number nine, calculate the volume of a 0.323 mole sample of gas uh, that will occupy at 265 Kelvin and a pressure of 0.900 atm. So, if you if you were required to calculate anything and the body the number of moles, confirm um, where is it? Uh, you have to use this formula, the ideal gas law formula, which is PV equals to NRT. You cannot use Charles law because Charles law, the only variable adalah uh, P, pressure and volume. Boyle's law, temperature and pressure. Combined gas law, only ada pressure, temperature and volume. Tak ada number of more. So you cannot use any of these three untuk determine the, uh, apa nama, untuk guna number of moles using these three formulas, only ideal gas law because in that formula ada variable untuk number of moles. So if you just fill in all this data 0.323, uh, 265 dan 0.98 atm dalam PV equals to NRT, kamu boleh dapat the volume. Okay, R is a constant. R is a constant, I listed dalam apa nama lecture notes. Uh, uh, constant R value in gas law. So, uh, I'll show you an image of it. So, the good thing about online learning is you can Google everything. Uh, where is it? It's an ask not to do it. Uh, 0.08. Oh, okay, and so now the first one. Wait a minute, back in the middle. Oh, that's not possible. Okay, never mind. So, uh, R value depending on the units. R value depending on the units. There are different uh, values. Okay, the tapi. Uh, in chemistry, for example, in our class, kita akan guna just this one value. R value equals to 0 0.08205. You need a liter because the volume we measure in liter. Uh, ATM, the pressure we measure in atmospheric, ATM. And mole is for the number of moles. And temperature we measure in Kelvin. So the, the rest ni adalah unit value, uh, value untuk units yang berlainan lah. Okay, tapi they are talking about the same thing. Uh, universal gas constant. Tapi the number changes because of the unit yang berbeza. Okay, so that's why volume we measure in liter, pressure we measure in ATM, mole ada satu saja, mole and temperature we measure in Kelvin. Okay, uh, so the unit is 0.08205. So the question tadi, dia dah bagi number of mole, dia dah bagi temperature, dia dah bagi pressure, uh, pressure. yes. R pun kita dah ada. So we have four of the variables, pressure, number of moles, R, and temperature. So we can determine the number of volume here. Solve for V. V is our unknown. Uh, which person is next? Uh, number 10. So determine the Kelvin temperature required for 0.047 mole of gas to fill a balloon to uh, 1.2 liter under 0.99 atm pressure. So this is the same. You can see here, kita, kita ada number of volume. We have the volume in liter, we have the pressure in ATM, 
and the number of moles. So just fill in the uh, values along ideal gas law, which is PV equals to NRP. So if you solve for this, kamu akan dapat 7.81 liter. Uh, eh, sorry, my bad. Jadi question number 10, sorry. So if you solve for uh, temperature, kamu akan dapat the correct answer is 307 Kelvin. Okay, so make sure when you do the calculations, bila kamu buat jalan kerja tu, uh, every line of your work, kamu write down the units. So that the, in, the, in your final answer, you get the right unit. Kalau kamu tak convert in the beginning, in your final answer, your unit will not be correct. So make sure in every line of your jalan kerja, you tulis the units. For every values, okay, untuk temperature, pressure, volume, semua tulis unit every time, every line. Uh, question number 11, what does R stand for? So as I mentioned tadi, uh, real gas, sorry, ideal gas constant. Okay. Mm, constant means dia tak berubah, value tu tak berubah. Okay, so in every condition, in every environment, the value of R will always be 0.08205. Nombor tu tak berubah. Kalau kita guna unit yang sama, liter, ATM, uh, apa lagi, and Kelvin. Kalau kamu change to uh, degree Celsius, the unit will be different. Kamu, kalau change volume, kamu measure in milliliter, the unit will be different. Okay, bukan 0.08, 0.05. Okay, so kat sini kalau contohnya kamu guna, kamu measure volume dalam centimeter cubic, so the unit will be different. Instead of 0.0825, it will be 82.05. Kalau kamu measure pressure dalam apa nama kilopascal, be very different. 1.99 times 10 to the power of negative 3. So don't confuse yourself with these other values. Just remember if you use liter, ATM and Kelvin, the value will always be 0 0.0825. Uh, next question, which is the correct unit for R? So liter, ATM per mole Kelvin. The answer is A. Uh, question number 13, determine the Celsius temperature of 2.49 moles of gas contained in one liter vessel at a pressure of 1.43 kilopascal. So this is a, apa nama, uh, the same question yang kita macam tadi, cuma the units are different if you have no case. So kat sini, dia bagi, kita cari temperature dalam Celsius and dia bagi pressure in kilopascal. So you need to convert kilopascal to uh, ATM. So the conversion uh, is 1 ATM equals to 102, sorry, 101.32 kilopascal. So, kalau dia bagi uh, 143 kilopascal, you need to convert to 1 ATM. Okay, so kalau 1 sama dengan 101, kamu nak convert 143 kepada kilopascal, 1 per 101 sama dengan X divided by 143. Okay, satu bagi seratus kosong, sekejap, let me open a whiteboard. That will be easier. Where's the whiteboard? So if you want to do any conversions, kamu just guna this technique, darab silang, because uh, start a new whiteboard. Because, uh, apa nama, untuk mengelakkan any kekeliruan. So we know the conversion Rates, sekedar lembab sikit. Okay, tax box. So the conversion of unit, so 1 ATM equals to 101.32 kilopascal. Then we just expand the box. Yeah, I hope the font is big enough. Okay, so this is the conversion unit, the conversion rate, sorry. So, kalau kamu nak convert, apa nama, uh, 143 kilopascal to ATM, okay, because we need to do our calculations in ATM. Uh, kamu kena buat, uh, I sarankan, kamu guna darab silang. Okay, so, so, you write like this lah. So, what is X ATM if kita ada 143, kalau tak silap, question ask. 143 kilopascal. So, oops. 
143 kilopascal per atm. So to solve this, kena darab sila. Darab silang just tulis satu ATM tadi divided by 101.32 kilopascal KPA and then samakan dengan X ATM because kita nak cari X kita cari berapa ATM kalau kilopascal is uh, 143 KPA so then we solve for X jadikan X as our unknown perkara rumus so kita bawa from guna tangan pula kita bawa 143 ni kita bawa 143 ni bagi per 143 ni bawa ke atas to this left hand side so that x will be our unknown perkara rumus ok where is it ok so x atm will equal to 1 atm darab dengan guna ni lah darab dengan 143 Kilo Pascal, and then everything is divided. Okay, solve for ke atas ni dulu untuk elak confusion. Kita bagi yang darab, it doesn't matter of the sequence. Tapi kita solve ke atas dulu untuk uh, any confusion. And divide by 101.32 Kilo Pascal. Okay, so then solve for X, kamu dapatlah berapa dia punya pressure in ATM. Uh, and then bila dah dapat that value in ATM barulah guna PV equals to NRT so the pressure needs to be in ATM uh, volume is 1 liter so it's easy 1.00 equals to N N is 2.49 uh, R is constant 0.08205 T kita suruh cari tapi the final answer will be in Kelvin so you need to convert the Kelvin value into degree Celsius so the conversion unit is Kelvin to Celsius. So the conversion is easier than kilopascal tadi. Kosong Kelvin sama dengan negatif 273. So kalau kamu dapat any bacaan dalam Kelvin, kamu nak convert kepada degree Celsius, kamu just tambah dengan 273. Okay, katakanlah apa nama, dapat uh, after buat calculation tadi dapat, oh sorry, my bad, saya tengok jawapan ni kan senang negatif uh, uh, 266 degree Celsius 266 ok, katakanlah after buat calculation tadi dapat 7.15 so what we do is 7.15 ini tolak 273 so this is the, the jalan kerja dia tunjuk kat bawah so kalau kita, after kita buat calculation PV equals to NRT using all the values kat sini uh, 2.49 mol, 1 liter dan juga 143 kilopascal yang kita dah convert kepada ATM tadi kita masukkan dalam PV equals to NRT and the temperature will be in the unit of Kelvin so we need to convert that Kelvin into Celsius so what we do is kalau nak convert kita ambil katakanlah kita buat calculation dia dapat 7.15 so kalau kosong degree Kelvin sama dengan negatif 273 so kita ambil 7.15 Kelvin kita tolak dengan 273 so dapatlah negatif 266 degree Celsius so the confusion bila buat calculation ni is biasa kita nak convert the units ok the, the conversion of units will be the apa nama will be the problem lah kalau kamu tak be, uh, careful Ok, next question is uh, number 14, what pressure in ATM, so pay attention to suruh cari dalam ATM is exerted by 2.5 liter of gas containing 1.35 mol at 320 Kelvin, so using PV equals to NRT, so, so this is straightforward uh, tak ada trick, tak ada unit conversion just fill in all of the values 2.5 liter, 1.35 mol and 320 Kelvin dalam PV equals to NRT and solve for V, eh, sorry, solve for P jadikan P as your unknown, perkara rumus so bawa V turun ke bawah so N kita tahu 1.35, R is a constant, we always know T is 320 Kelvin and uh, volume is 2.5 liter so the answer is 14.19 
Uh, next question, are the three more questions. Uh, the ideal gas law in an equation that relates to what variables will constant of R adalah semua sekali. Volume, temperature, pressure and amount of particles of gas. So, ditanya kat sini, the ideal gas law in an equation that relates to what variables will constant of R. Maksudnya, dia tanya apakah variable, apakah uh, behaviors of gas yang, ter, yang akan dipengaruhi oleh the constant R. So if you look at the value, uh, sorry the formula, PV equals to nRT, so R is here. So dia tanya apakah yang akan dipengaruhi oleh R? Maksudnya kalau R ini berubah, apakah variable yang akan terpengaruh? Jawapannya adalah all of them. Okay, because the relationship is, uh, what's the relationship? Berkadar terus. Okay, P, if P changes, if P is increased, uh, T will be increased, N will be increased. If the volume is increased, everything, P, pressure, number of moles, and temperature will also increase. If R is increased, temperature, the number of moles, volume, and pressure will be increased because the relationship from past experiments, from past tests that have been done before, they, uh, they notice the changes are directly proportional. If temperature is increased, volume will be increased. If temperature is decreased, everything will be decreased. So itu soalan dah. Apakah yang akan dipengaruhi oleh R? Jawapannya adalah semua lah. PV equals to N and T. Volume, temperature, pressure, amount of gas particles. So gas particles ni is related to the number of moles because from the number of moles, kita boleh determine the number of particles, the amount of molecules, the amount of compounds, the number of atoms. Okay, so that's number 15. So from here also saya dah nampak ramai yang jawab tu. Uh, question number 16, if the number of mole, if N and T, T is temperature, are held constant, the ideal gas law reduces to, okay, so I, apa nama, dia tanya, uh, I said tadi from the ideal gas law, from PV equals to NRT, we can derive uh, for these other laws, Charles law, Boyle's law, and Avogadro. So, saya nak tunjuk macam mana, one example, how to derive. So, dia kata kat sini, kalau N and T are constant. So let me just padam this. Okay, can I put it up padam? Okay, so PV equals to N R and T. So if N, are, uh, F, if N and T are constant, apakah, uh, apa nama? Uh, what law, what formula, which gas law formula does it stand for? Okay, kalau N and T is constant. So kalau macam kita nak derive uh, apa nama, the non-ideal gas law, the Boyle's law, Charles law, the Avogadro's law, Gay-Lussac's law, kita perlu start from PV equals to NRT and kita rearrange all these variables uh, ikut yang mana yang uh, constant dan mana yang tidak constant. So for example, soalan tadi, dia kata kalau N and T are constant, uh, what will happen? Which law does it uh, stand for? What's the whiteboard? So kita kena susun everything yang constant on the same side, yang tidak constant, yang changes on the other side. So kita tahu tadi, dia kata if N and T are constant, so they are already on the same side. And R, we know it is a constant. So that leaves us with the variable P and V. So we don't have to do much of derivation here. So we get this lah. P1, uh, V1 equals to P2, V2. So if you look up in the lecture note, kamu akan dapat tahu which uh, formula does it, which gas formula is this for. Kalau kamu malas nak buka lecture note, you can just Google. P1, V1 equals to P2, V2 is the relationship for Boyle's law. Okay, so saya nak tunjuk another example, nak derive, katakanlah uh, apa yang constant kat sini. Uh, katakanlah volume yang constant. Okay, kalau volume yang constant, we need to bring every, uh, apa nama, volume uh, dengan R yang constant. Volume and number of moles and R are constant. Okay, katakanlah tiga ni constant. Volume, number of moles and R constant. So kita susun all of these three in one side and pressure and temperature on one side. So 
temperature kita bawa turun to the left hand side uh, divide by T and kita tahu N and R is already on the same side volume is constant also divide by V so kita dapat uh, yang constant on the same side N, R and V and the variables yang berubah is pressure and temperature on one side so kita ambil yang berubah tu sahaja P1 over P1 equals to P2 over P2 so once again, kalau kamu malas nak buka, you can just Google. So, P1 over T1 is stands for Gay-Lussac's law. Gay-Lussac's law, P1 over T1 equals to P2 over T2. Okay, so you don't need to remember all of this. Don't need to memorize all the Gay-Lussac's law, Boyle's law, Charles law. Just remember PV equals to NRT and derive from there. Okay, then that brings us to our final question. In the ideal gas law, which variable represents the gas constant? So the correct answer is R. R is the universal gas constant. Okay, so uh, so I see from here, ramai lagi yang belum buat, baru ada, I get a report right, every time, so I can see if you understand or not, if ramai yang fail ke ramai yang salah, Ramai yang betul. So from here, baru sembilan saja yang jawab. So hopefully after this, kamu boleh uh, finish before the uh, apa deadline. Uh, and if you have any questions, you can ask uh, dalam WhatsApp group. Wait a minute, what do I do now? Ah, okay. Okay, so um, I will share. So in our next lessons, I can share tentang chapter four, all the videos, video lectures that you need to watch before our next class. I can share dalam WhatsApp group. Chapter four is liquid, uh, solids and gas ataupun apa nama, phase, matters or phases. Okay, chapter four. You can uh, read ahead the lecture note dalam uh, ITEL. Semua ada dalam link dekat top. Uh, board at a link to lecture notes if you still don't know. Okay guys, so thank you. Let me stop recording first.